What's up guys, it is Charles Ryan, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we began to delve into the world that is the Pokemon Emerald events, and we caught ourselves Deoxys, the DNA Pokemon at Birth Island. We also visited Southern Island, and I talked a little bit about how you would get these events, how you would go through obtaining them if you had Fire Red Leaf Green, Emerald, or Ruby and Sapphire. We talked about the e-reader and the e-cards. Um, and I also told you guys to go check out Sugar Conroy's video about uh, the Eon ticket, which I unfortunately could not cover. Now, today, we are here in the Lakove City because this is uh, where the boat off of Southern Island took me at the end of last episode. So, today, we are going to be visiting the Naval Rock, as I hinted at the end of last episode. So, Let's continue our romp through the world of Pokemon events and step inside. And yes, we arrive here at Naval Rock. Naval Rock is the second event we are going to be covering as part of the Pokemon Emerald event list. Um, and it in fact is home to two legendary Pokemon. For those of you who have traveled here before, uh, you will no doubtably know what those uh, legendary Pokemon are. But for those of you who have not, I will not spoil them. Um... But yeah, so, let's see if I can find a little bit about, find out a little bit about the Naval Rock. Um, oh, something I should mention. Naval Rock has an upstairs and a downstairs. I think we're going to be traveling through the upstairs first, which means we are going to be going through a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot of ladders. Until we eventually reach the top. Now, uh, I'm going to recommend you save on the top step around about here. Uh, just to be safe, um, I think going much further will result in us actually getting to the, um, yeah, getting to the legendary, and we don't want to do that before we are ready. So, let's see if I can, here we go, I think this is the page in which I need for my information on this event. Uh, okay, yes, alright. So, Naval Rock. Players would arrive on Naval Rock by obtaining the Mystic Ticket, and then in which you can take a ferry to the Naval Rock here, and then you will climb to either the top or to the bottom. Uh, this event was once again distributed uh, to Fire Red, Leaf Green, and Emerald. You Ruby and Sapphire players, unfortunately, you cannot play this event. Uh, the way you would obtain it is similar to how you would obtain the uh, Aurora ticket if you were in Emerald and you weren't doing a um, uh, mixed records. You would uh, go to a Nintendo event and they would get it, give it to you through a wonder spot. Um, again, I have not looked up yet. Oh, excuse me. Apparently talking about events makes me gassy. I don't know. Anyway, um, I have not yet looked up whether or not Australia got these events, or they were readily available to them, I am not sure yet, but I know for a fact, again, this event was in Europe and in America. And so, yeah, this was basically obtained in a similar way as you would obtain the Deoxys from the last episode. And, hold on, I want to make sure I have the right Pokemon out in front for this, because... Yeah, we'll go Mizuguru. And, once again, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save a second time, just to be 100% sure that nothing bad will happen. Because the last thing I want is to knock out this Pokemon and have no way of getting it again. And we can see this bird flies down before us. The legendary Pokemon Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh is level 70 with the moves Swift, Sunny Day, Fire Blitz, and Recover. Um, this thing is level 70, as have been the previous major legendaries like Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza, so you can tell this thing is not going to mess about with us. Uh, yeah. This, uh, this Pokemon is a challenge. And I guess if you know the Johto Pokemon well enough, judging from, uh, ho, -Ho being here, you can probably guess what awaits for us in the basement of this place. But, um, yeah. The most annoying thing about ho, -Ho is that it has Recover. Uh, the previous Pokemon had Rest, which meant they would go to sleep. Recover just flat out lets you heal, uh, I think, almost over half of your HP. And it's pretty damn ridiculous. 
Um, but, as we get into this battle, uh, a little bit of information about the Mystic Ticket event. It was once again part of the Pokemon Rocks America in the UK, but it was also up uh, in 2005, I should say, but it was also available in 2004 in Japan by going to uh, the Pokemon Center, which I am assuming is a store, it's a store in Japan, I'm pretty sure, that sells Pokemon related merchandise. Um, and so it was similar to the Deoxys one, you would get to download the Mystic Ticket, take it to the Naval Rock, and yeah. Um, it was only, it started on the 17th of September in 2005 and ended on the 22nd of October. So you didn't have the biggest window in the world to, uh, to get this. But for those of you who did, you are treated to quite a cool event because you get two legendaries for the price of one event, which is pretty sweet. Um, I think that's low enough health. Let's start, uh, throwing the Pokeballs. As you can see, I stocked up again. We got 50 Ultra Balls and 56, uh, Timer Balls. Uh, still 20 Pokeballs though, but you know what, we're gonna throw a Pokeball anyway, because as you all know, I don't have any... I don't care what kind of ball I catch my Pokemon in, and I throw them with Reckless Abandon. Ah, oh, Fire Blast, ooh. Oh, yeah, no, it's not powered up by the sun anymore, so yeah, I didn't think it was gonna kill. Uh, let's try an Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball's probably the best way we're gonna catch this thing. Or oh, not, okay. Recover, yep, cool, cool. Oh, wow, that is, yeah. Recover does a lot of hailing. I remember that now. Um, please. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. No, Sunny Day is better than, Sunny Day is better than it using Fire Blast because while I might not hit it for as hard as I would like to, it's not going to hit me for as much as it wants to. All right. Swift. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Yep, that's, that's, uh, that is Mizuguru down for the count, unfortunately. Um, let's go to Koryo. I want to see if I can get this thing paralyzed with Dragon Breath. Plus the fact that it's a ground type means that it's going to be slightly resistant to Ho-Oh's fire moves, or at least I hope it is. Uh, Dragon Breath. Unfortunately, we won't be able to hit it with our ground type moves because it is a fire flying type, meaning that, you know, all ground moves are going to be practically useless. All right, okay. Could we see ho -Oh maybe use Recover? No, it's going to use Swift because it knows it's going to KO me, isn't it? Oh, come on, come on, Dracoria. Paralyze it, paralyze it, paralyze it, paralyze it. Ah, not quite. All right. Um, I think it's going to hit me with Swift again anyway because it knows it'll KO. So let's try a timer ball. Let's see how timer ball goes. One. All right, all right. It's got a one. We're making progress. Yeah, Swift, thought so. No, 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 we're making progress. This is okay. This is good. Uh, if you are playing this in Fire Red and Leaf Green, this area will look slightly different. It will look a little bit different to the area that I am currently in, but it's basically the same area. Uh, follows the same route. Um, basically, yeah, you keep going up and up and up and up and up to find ho -Oh, or you keep going down and down and down and down, down to find the Pokemon in the basement. Now, I'm not 100% sure about using Return, because that might KO it. Ah. 2,200 XP, really? The ho I flew away. Yeah, gee, you think? Well, guess I'm resetting. ho uh, round two. Let's... Yeah, let's keep using Surf. Oh, it's using Swift. Nice. Okay, I'll take that, because then I'll just use Surf for more damage. <laughs> And down goes Mizuguru. That's fine. Actually, something I will talk about uh, while we're fighting ho -Oh for the second time, hoping not to KO it, is that um, for... not I won't say for most people, but for some people, this event would have been the only way that you would have been able to catch the legendary Pokemon ho -Oh and uh, the Pokemon you will find in the basement, which I'm still content on not spoiling. Also, we got paralyzed first time, so that's really friggin' cool. Anyway. If you owned Pokemon, if you, well, sorry, I should first preface this by saying, if you owned a GameCube, and by proxy owned uh, Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, or Colosseum, um, you were in a much better position to catch a lot of Johto's Pokemon, uh, because a lot of 
pretty much half of the Pokemon, I think, in those games were Johto Pokemon. And that was, um, like, how Game Freak and Nintendo thought many people would acquire Johto's Pokemon for the Generation 3 games. Um, I covered this a little bit in, when, like, in the Safari Zone when we were traveling there for the second time, but I feel like I should go over it again now that we are fighting the legendaries of Johto for Gold and Silver. Um, yeah, and so if you didn't own a GameCube, like I didn't, or if you did own a GameCube but didn't own the games, these events were pretty much your one-stop uh, method for catching the two legendaries. Because there was some, like, as it, when it came to normal kind of Pokemon, uh, you could get away with maybe not having XD or Colosseum, because you could get quite a number of them through the new Safari Zone and through the uh, post-game of Pokemon Fire and Leaf Green. But, unfortunately, if you wanted the legendaries, you couldn't go much past Raikou, Suicune, and Entei, as you could get those in the post-game of Pokemon um, Fire and Leaf Green. But Ho-Oh and its partner legendary were, owned, were restricted to these events and to XD and Gale of Darkness. And now that I'm on the topic of the GameCube, um, a question that maybe some people have had throughout the duration of the LP that uh, came up again during the live stream is that I am, well now it's pretty clear that this Let's Play has been ran on emulator. Um, but purely for the reason that uh, there was no proper way for me to actually record footage of Pokemon Emerald. I don't have a um, DS or 3DS that can record footage, although a 3DS wouldn't even matter because you can't play Game Boy games on 3DS. Uh, oh, sorry, Game Boy Advance games. And as of, as of the recording of this, or as of the recording of when the uh, uh, LP started, I do not possess a GameCube nor do I possess a game, uh, game Boy Player, both of which are required to play Game Boy, or pretty much record Game Boy games using a capture card. However, however, moving into 2017, one of my biggest goals was to start doing proper console Let's Plays, and one of the first things in the new year that I am going to be purchasing is a capture card, the same one that actually uh, Tim Pardon me, what is, with, what is with me today? Why am I burping so much? This is weird. Anyway, the same capture card that Tim actually uses, because that is how he records his console Let's Plays, like Wolverine and stuff like that. He has a capture card that he can use. Whereas, unfortunately, I do not, as of yet. But, in the coming new year, I will be acquiring a capture card, and one way or another, I am going to get my hands on a GameCube as well. Partially because there's a lot of great games on the GameCube that I really want to play, but also so that I can bring great Let's Plays to you guys, and hopefully with the use of a Game Boy Player, if I wanted to do something, say, like Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green, I don't have to resort to using Emulator anymore, I can just pop it into my GameCube, hit the record button on my, um, on my capture card, and just go. So, that is basically why this Let's Play has been Emulator, but, if my fourth are uh, correct, and when I say sources, I basically mean my suspicions, because the amount of uh, people talking about this is just insane. Um, I'm fairly certain that uh, during Christmas, or during the holiday season, I will be picking up a GameCube, either for Christmas, or I will just buy it outright myself. But yeah, that's uh, a little backstory about that. And with a GameCube comes new Let's Plays, because... Like, I wanted a capture card regardless of whether or not I had a GameCube because there are a bunch of other games like the Ratchet & Clank Trilogy, the Jack and Daxter Trilogy, uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, Wind Waker, um, Super Mario Galaxy, Xenoblade Chronicles, Metro Prime, um, so many, so many games that um, in future I want to be able to LP for you guys and I'm going to need a capture card to do those games because some of them you just cannot emulate. Game Boy games, it's really easy and that's why like, this was so easy to do on emulator, but if I want to do, like, I don't know, Platinum. If I want to do Platinum, then there's no way I can do it on an emulator, because I don't think there's, a, like, a stable, um, Nintendo DS emulator out there. Oh, come on, ho -ho. you couldn't give me that. You couldn't even give me that. You shook three times. I thought you were going to be a bro. You were going to let me make this episode, you know. I'm going to be able to catch two legendaries in the one episode, which probably I'm not going to be able to, 
because it's going to take too long, but still, oh, wait, you could have been a bro. Oh, one. Ah, okay. Okay, whatever. But yeah, anyway, that's, uh, that's a little bit about that, because, you know, there are a bunch of console games that I want to LP for you guys, and, um, there are actually some co-op, well, not co-op, but there are some console games that, um, I want to do as kind of co-commentary Let's Plays, where it's still only one person playing it, but it's two people commentating, and I have a couple ideas for games I can do for that. Um, Tim and I have hinted in the past about one specific game that we want to do. We haven't said what the game is, but there is definitely one game that we really want to do as a co-commentary Let's Play that um, in the future we will definitely be able to do. Um, Tim is actually... Well, might spoil a little bit, but Tim's next Let's Play project that he's going to be starting is related in some way to um, the co-commentary Let's Play. He's going to do the first game on his channel as a solo Let's Play, just him, and um, I'll drop a link down below in the description so you can check out his, vi uh, his video, his channel, and subscribe so you don't miss that. And then when we do the sequel, it'll be over on my channel and he'll be coming back to do some more commentary. Because don't think you've seen the last of Tim on this channel once Dark Souls, um, Dark Souls Versus ends, because trust me, he will be back again and again and again. If not to just do the next Dark Souls games, because we are not done with that series by a long shot. Dark Souls 2 and 3, we're coming for you. But not for a while, I am Dark Souls out at this point. Like, oh, this year is just like, I feel like I've played more Dark Souls this year than I have any other year prior. Like, we had Dark Souls 3 at the beginning of the year, don't think I didn't see that, ho -ho. I saw that. I saw that. You ain't slick. But yeah, we had Dark Souls 3 at the beginning of the year. I was still playing through Dark Souls 2. I played a bunch of Dark Souls early in the year to um, get, well, not just get footage, but uh, get experience for the Top 20 Dark Souls bosses um, video. Then, of course, there was Dark Souls Versus, uh, the DLC that started coming out for um, Dark Souls 3. I picked up a PS4 this year, which meant I was playing Bloodborne. I feel like I've just played so much Souls this year. Which is never a bad thing. I'm not complaining about playing a lot of Souls. I love the Souls series, but I think I need a little bit of a break from Souls for a while. That's why uh, the other day on my 3DS I picked up Animal Crossing New Leaf, uh, downloaded version, so that I don't have to ever worry about losing it again, because earlier this year I lost my copy and it was very sad and I didn't like that. Anyway, I picked up uh, that for DS download, so it's always on my DS now, and I have... Oh, I've just been loving playing that game again. It's such a good game. It's a, just a great game to chill out to as well, like, you know, it's... Oh my god, Izzy, never do that again, please. Please. That is heart attack material right there. Okay, go, Ultra Ball. If I'm ever going to catch Ho-Oh, it's going to be in this scenario. Come on. One. Damn it. Uh, you're going to... Oh, it's paralyzed. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, timer ball. Come on, this is the perfect scenario. He's probably got, like, one HP. One. Two. Three. Damn it. Don't recover. Dick. Damn it. Come on, Super Ultra Mega Chicken. Come on. Uh, you know what? I'll use another time ball again. But, um, yeah. So that's been really fun to play. I've gone back into playing uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D on 3DS, the remaster. Because I, uh, for all my shame, I never played the original when it came out because it came out the same year I was born. And, um, also, um, I never had the opportunity to play through the entirety of Ocarina of Time, so now that I'm playing it on, like, in a portable format, I've got a better chance to, and I'm quite enjoying it. It's not coming out as my favourite Zelda game just yet, it might, I don't know. Um, but I, I am enjoying it. I, it is a good game, it is fun, and, um, it's not the first time I've actually played the 3DS version either, I, uh, borrowed a friend's copy back in 2013, and I got all the way to the... Izzy. What did I just say? What did I just say, Izzy? <sighs> That's twice now. That's twice you've knocked out Ho-Oh. Tw two times now, Izzy. Not good enough. Not good enough. Alright. Restart. So, continuing what I was saying earlier, um, yeah, no, Ocarina of Time 3D, um, I played it, yeah, on a friend's, uh, copy, because I borrowed it from them for a bit, and I got all the way up to the Water Temple, 
Um, and I think that was when I actually was going to Germany. So, um, A, I got stuck in a water temple, and B, they didn't want me to take the game to Germany where I could possibly lose it, and I didn't really want to take that chance either. So I gave it back to them. So I've never finished Ocarina of Time for all my gaming shame. But, um, yeah, but it's, it's certainly fun. It's still not my favorite Zelda game. Um, that'd probably go to Wind Waker, Majora's Mask, or Skyward Sword, and I know that third option is going to piss off a couple of people, because a lot of people don't like Skyward Sword. Well, it's not that they don't like it, it's just that it's not, in their mind, a fantastic Zelda game, which I can understand why some people would see that. Like, I've heard people talk about why they don't like Skyward Sword that much, and, um, like, I, I respect their points, I understand their points, but it was the first... And this is going to really piss people off. It was actually the first main console Zelda game that I played um, from beginning to end. And so because of that, it's, you know, I regard it higher than, you know, some other people. And it's the same with everyone. Like, I feel like your first main console Zelda game, it, you know, sticks with you as your favorite more so than other ones. Having said that, like, I don't think there's a bad Zelda game, excluding CDI, because we don't talk about Zelda CDI. But, um, yeah, I don't think there's, like, really been a bad Zelda game. And I feel like each game could be considered someone's favorite, and they'd be fine for thinking that. Like, the first proper Zelda game I ever played was Zelda Spirit Tracks on the DS, and I know a couple of people have some interesting things to say about that game as well. But yeah. It's, it's been fun, and of course I've also still been playing Pokemon Sun like crazy because I'm still trying to fill up the Pokedex, which actually isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's been pretty good. I've gotten every exclusive at this point except for Fossils and uh, Lunala. Um, but I do have Cosmog, which means when I get Cosmoan, or whatever, you, however you say it, um, I'll just have to trade it with one of my friends who has Moon. They'll level it up once with a rare candy, and uh, we'll be fine. So yeah. Sunny day, okay, that means water attack's gonna do less damage. That's fine, that's fine. And yeah, and then other than that, I haven't been really playing a heck of a lot else other than that. My, my 3DS at the moment is probably my most played uh, system because of that. I know um, Destiny's The Dawning came out uh, either today or a couple of days ago, so um, I'll probably get into that at some point to try and get the items and everything, and then I'll fall off Destiny for another couple of weeks weeks or months or however long it will take them to bring me back in with some sort of new content or something. But yeah, uh, later tonight this is also going to be really cool and we'll date the video. Um, my friends and I are uh, going out to uh, the movies. We're going to go see Rogue One tonight. We are very excited because we're all major Star Wars fans and last year we all went and saw The Force Awakens and we love that. And from what we're hearing from about Rogue One, I've heard people say some really great things about Rogue One. So. Fingers crossed it's good. Like, if it's anything, if it's if it's on the same level or above The Force Awakens, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. Or if, yeah, if it meets this, like, if it's on the same level as Force Awakens or above, I'll be perfectly happy. Even if it's a little bit below that. Like, you know. I'm, I am really excited to go watch it tonight. And I think it's going to be really cool. We're going to enjoy it. Get to go watch it in a nice extreme screen. But yeah. Oh, and then, of course, how can I be remiss about talking that we are 10 days away from Christmas as of the recording of this video. So, um, yeah, that's pretty exciting. And it seems that Ho is in the Christmas spirit as well, because he finally got in the ball. Hey, gotcha, ho -Oh was caught. Ho-Oh, the rainbow Pokemon 250. Its feathers, which glow in seven colors depending on the angle at which they are struck by light, are thought to bring joy. It is said to live at the foot of a rainbow. Does it live somewhere over the rainbow? And transfer it to the PC in box 14? Alright, I guess it was in box 4. Oh, yeah, it was in box 14. Okay, right. Yeah, because I think last time I exited the PC, I actually accidentally hit left as I was exiting, so it uh, went to box 14. That's fine. That's alright. But, on the note of catching ho -Oh, I am going to split this episode into two parts because I just don't think I have the stamina to go through for another whole part. Or, like, to keep this part going. Uh, to do the next legendary. Also, I don't have enough healing items, I don't think. That's a problem. Alright, then, um, yeah, I actually might run out, heal, and then come back between episodes. 
So, um, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below this video. Uh, any comments are also appreciated as well. I read every single one of them, as usual. And be sure, if you haven't already, to subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you can keep notified on when all my new videos are coming out. And yeah, on the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, we are going to the basement of the Neighbor Rock to encounter the second legendary Pokemon from Pokemon Gold and Silver. See you guys then.